What's up, Critique Crew? It is I, Key, and welcome to Kiki's Critique. Over the next several weeks, we are deep diving into this new series that God has brought to my heart called From Rags to Riches. Um, Rags to Riches is us growing stronger spiritually and not being not being ashamed of our former years our our start our beginning the trauma of our past the shame of our past but but to take the things that we have gone through and to use those tools that we've learned to glorify God and allow him to show up in our lives victoriously I don't know about you but the story that I want to tell over my life is that I slayed the giants. I showed up. I beat the enemy that tried to attack me and my family and my home. That I was a conqueror. I was more than a conqueror through Christ who lived in me. The story that I want to tell is that I fought all the Goliaths in my life. And I came through the fiery furnace and I didn't smell like smoke. If you want that story. If that is the life that you are set up to live and you already know if you are in that flow because you know where you started I don't know about y'all but my, my beginning wasn't that strong and so this series is very important to my heart and I pray I pray that it blesses each and every one of you as we die for the next several weeks in rags to riches so get ready y'all In this mirror, I see tears, blood, sweat, fear That I ain't enough peers Looking for the flaws here Is it what was thought? Maybe they plying on here And wishing death on me but couldn't be the Paul Bear So they bear witness, I'm a hand on my business Got my hand on this vision, a mission to make a difference The kitchen ain't hot as I am in and I do the dishes Do it, I build the bridges that bring my fruit to fruition Once I started, I finished, no matter how long I fall The trophy said I go, I know you probably don't really know me yet I go inside, don't push it out I built a bomb and I'm taking to put it down already I didn't have preparation, why you think I'm impatient Instead of sitting here waiting to have my feet on the pavement I'ma save it them days that you were gazed in amazement Later remember the same conversation Cause we keep on grinding And I'm saying that's no matter what life pitch batter up and we keep on thriving If you started from the bottom, ain't no matter cause you got it, oh yeah We keep on climbing Welcome back to Kiki's Critique and welcome back to the second episode, I guess, of the series um, from Rags to Riches. And I honestly, I don't know if this is the second installment or not. Well, let's just say that it is. Okay, it is. Um, and the reason why it is is because um, I'm going off the fly again because God just brought this up to my heart and I had an opportunity to record this and so I want to take advantage of it and so we are just going to hold on tight and let God do that thing that he does so well when he comes and just in, and enters a room and blesses a room with just his spirit, just his presence. And so we are believing God right now for his presence to just come into the atmosphere and touch every situation, every circumstance, every heart, every mind, and every person that is viewing this video, Lord. And we thank you for your word that heals, that comfort, that provides peace, the peace that surpasses all understanding. And I thank you for this opportunity, Lord, to be be able to present your word please remove all of me and just show up mighty in me father and remove all nerves all fears all anxiousness and just have your way in jesus holy name amen amen guys so um i was looking over exodus and god remember we were talking last time um when we were 
um, we were talking about the teaching, um, it doesn't matter who we are. And in that we were talking about Moses, we were in Exodus 3, which we are still in Exodus 3 um, this time. And um, and what we were talking about, we were going, we went, um, we didn't go into full detail and about, the, you know, the burning bush. But this was the time where um, Moses just had this encounter with God, this radical encounter with God, this burning bush. He... Um, he, he, he steps on holy ground with the Lord. He gets instructions and, 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 and about a purpose, a big purpose. And God wants him to go back and free, free um, the children of Israel, Israel from Egypt, all the Hebrew children. And um, so Moses, last week we were talking about, Moses was asking God, you know, well, you know, who am I to be able to do all of that? And we remember we were discussing how you know, God didn't even answer Moses, but he just told him that, you know, certainly I will be with you. And the whole purpose was that God was going to be with him. It didn't matter who Moses was. It All that mattered was that God was going to be with him. And so we're going to pick up at chapter on um, Exodus chapter 3, verse 13 um, through 15, where um, right after this com conversation where God just saying, you know, certainly I will be with you in verse 12, he says certainly I will be with you and so um, uh, and, 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 and he said you want to serve me on this mountain well then in verse 13 then Moses said to God indeed when I come to the children of Israel and say to them the God of your fathers has sent me to you and they say to me what is his name what shall I say to them and God said to Moses I am who I am uh, and, and he said, thus you, say, you shall say to the children of Israel, I am has sent me to you. Moreover, God said to Moses, thus you shall say to the children of Israel, the Lord God, your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob has sent me to you. This is my name forever. And this is my memorial to all generations. Mem this is God's memorial to all generations. What does memorial mean? Memorial is, um, and, and when I Googled it, it says, um, historically, it means a statement of facts, especially as a basis of petition. It's a statement of facts. When God said in this passage, my, this is my memorial to all generations. I am who I am. It... it, it I am the God of Abraham, of Abraham, of Isaac, of Jacob. I am the you're the God of forefathers. I am the God who has done all this, these things, that this miraculous things. I am that God to be feared, to be reverenced. I am that God. When He is saying that this is and this is my memorial, this is the facts. This is the uh, uh, the structure, the establishment that we will use to remind people when they ask who I am. And guys, when I was reading this, I said, wow, this is, this is very, very interesting. This is a very interesting conversation. I mean, from the beginning in verse 10, all the way down here to verse 15, because God is, is, is establishing his relationship and his, his statue of who he is to, to us as his children and who we are in relationships to him. He told uh, Moses that, I mean, basically, it, it doesn't matter your name. It doesn't matter who you are. All that matters is that I am going with you, that I am God. All I want people to know is that this is something that I need to have happen. That these, the, the, the children is getting ready to be free because I said so, not because you said so. And so if we're, he, God didn't want Moses to be confused and say, I don't want you to walk and think that you can do something because as you know, in your power, you can do nothing. But certainly when I go with you, then that job is going to get done. I said, okay, Lord. Now, because rags to riches, what, what, how is this tying into the rags to riches? And God wants us to know that as we are coming out of the rags of our past, and we're entering a new level, it is important that we understand that He is who He is. He is all things. God is our healer, our comforter. 
our 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 go to for anything that we have going on. There is nothing that God cannot do. If it's His will, then all things work together for good for those who love the Lord and to those called according to His purpose. In order for us to come out of the rags of our past and enter into the gates of our riches, then we have to go through a transformation. There is a transformation that needs to be had. And in order to understand, in order to go through that transformation properly, then we need to understand our position in this earth. We need to understand how we are to show up in the earth. We need to understand what our relationship is to God and God's relationship to us. When God has placed a call on our life and he is sending you forth, he said he's sending you, he put a desire in your belly, that burning bush, he put that burning, that, that desire in your belly and he's called you to go and to do something. Then all our responsibility to that is to go and to take God with us. And that would be our staff, which comforts us. Our rod, our staff. Come on, Psalm 23. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for thy rod and thy staff comforts me. And, and Moses took along with him his rod, his staff. Moses didn't have a limp. What nothing wrong with his legs? But that rod, that staff, it represents God, who he is. When we have the rod in our hand, when we carry the staff, the, staff, the, the, the shield of faith, or the, 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 the sword of faith, that's our staff, that's our rod, that's what we carry. We carry God with us. And so, as, as, as God is establishing his relationship with Moses right now, and letting Moses know that, that in you, you're nothing. You're nothing by yourself. But in me, I, we, we can do all things. All things can be done. All things. But you have to carry your rod and your staff. And at this point, he hasn't received his rod and his staff because this is this is why he's nervous. Because he's like, okay, I got to go on this journey. I got to go back and set these people free. You're telling me to go do something. And, and God is saying, I am. And he's, he's, he's nervous. He's like, well, who should I say sent me? Who, who should I tell them? How do I talk to these people and tell them? Well, I just show up. No, you tell them that, that, that the God of Abraham, he says, and, and he says, to, to, and God said to Moses, Thus you shall say to the children of Israel that the Lord your God, your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob has sent me to you. And this is my name forever. I am that I am. 